Adam Cole poses with newly crowned AEW champion, Karrion Cross's opponents are revealed for NXT TakeOver In Your House, and WWE Hall of Famer reveals his conversation with Vince McMahon before leaving. Hello everyone, Jose G here bringing you today's top stories in today's Sports Keto Wrestling News Roundup. To stay up to date with all of our content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Adam Cole poses with newly crowned AEW Champion. Adam Cole was recently spotted with newly crowned AEW Women's World Champion Britt Baker. Baker posted an Instagram story on them posing together with the AEW Women's Championship wrapped around her shoulders. At Double or Nothing, Baker finally won the AEW Women's title by beating Hikaru Shida. The doctor got the victory over the longest reigning AEW Women's Champion with the Lockjaw submission. Celebrating her triumph, Britt Baker posed with Adam Cole. On this week's edition of NXT, Adam Cole made his return to WWE TV and attacked his arch rival Kyle O'Reilly along with Johnny Gargano and Pete Dunne with a steel chair. Cole interfered in a number one contenders match for the NXT Championship and later made it known that he himself wants a crack at the title. Later in the show, Adam Cole made his way to the ring and called out the reigning NXT Champion Karrion Cross. Cole made his intentions clear, claiming that he returned to the black and gold brand to regain the NXT Championship. This led to General Manager William Regal announcing a fatal five-way match for the NXT title. Karrion Cross will defend his championship against Cole, Gargano, O'Reilly, and Dunn at the upcoming NXT TakeOver In Your House show. The champion will be at a definite disadvantage as he does not need to be pinned or submitted to lose the title. Adam Cole, a former NXT champion, has been away from WWE TV since his loss to Kyle O'Reilly at NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver during WrestleMania 37 weekend. Cole is the longest reigning NXT champion in the history of the brand, with his singles title reign lasting 403 days. Indian WWE star Kavita Devi comments on her release rumors and reveals why she missed Superstar Spectacle. Indian's WWE superstar Devita Kavi was released from the company. In fact, the reason why she's been missing from action is that Kavita Devi had to go to India as her husband had contracted COVID earlier in the year. Kavita Devi opened up on why she missed Superstar Spectacle, the special show WWE put on for their Indian audience in January. India has been a COVID-19 hotbed in 2021, and unfortunately, Kavita Devi's family too has been affected during the pandemic. Devi shared a heartbreaking account of her personal struggles, saying, quote, I have been back home in India since January. My husband contracted COVID earlier this year, and I needed to be here with my family. I choose not to go back to America. Everyone at WWE has been incredibly supportive. I am filled with gratitude for everything they have done for me. I have also had an ACL injury over a year and have been able to perform in the ring, but WWE still supported me through all of that." End quote. Kavita Devi confirmed that she's working out a deal with WWE that allows her to work out of India. She also spoke about missing the WWE Superstar spectacle, saying, quote, WWE made every effort to still make me feel included. They even made it possible for me to film a video message to be used during the show. I was sad not to be there in person, but I had to be at home with my family." End quote. Kavita Devi is currently an ambassador for WWE in India. Because of the potential of the market, one has to believe that she will be with the company for a long time. It remains to be seen how the company plans to use her talent in the days and months to follow. Karrion Cross's opponents for the NXT Championship at TakeOver In Your House confirmed. Karrion Cross will have his work cut out at NXT TakeOver In Your House. The NXT Champion will defend his title against Kyle O'Reilly, Johnny Gargano, Pete Dunne, and Adam Cole in a fatal five-way match at TakeOver In Your House. NXT kicked off last night with an excellent triple threat match between O'Reilly, Dunne, and Gargano that was supposed to decide who would face Karrion Cross at the upcoming TakeOver event. But Adam Cole returned and took all three men out and the referee as well. NXT General Manager William Regal and security escorted Cole from the building, and no official ruling was given on the match. Later on in the show, Adam Cole made his way back to the ring and called out Karrion Cross. The Panama City Playboy 
had some choice words for the NXT champion as he attempted to get under the skin of Cross in order to get a title shot. Regal saw this occurring and came out to try to stop it, but Cross informed the NXT GM that it's about what he wanted and demanded a match with all four men at TakeOver in your house. Rumors have persisted for months that Karrion Cross is being fast-tracked for the WWE main roster. This upcoming title defense would be a perfect exit for Cross as he could lose the NXT Championship without being pinned or submitted in the process. If this is the last stand for Cross in NXT, he will certainly be going out in what should be a phenomenal match featuring five of the biggest names in the black and gold brand today. Billy Kay reacts to WWE Superstar's request to keep her posts PG. Billy Kay, also known as Jessica McKay, recently responded to WWE Superstar Tyler Breeze, who asked her to keep her Instagram posts PG. Billy Kay was one of several big names that WWE released a short while ago. Her release came as a shock to the WWE Universe, and the promotion was heavily criticized on the same on social media. Billy Kay has been posting tons of motivational messages and selfies on her official Instagram handle since her release. Billy Kay's latest selfie had the following caption attached to it, My soul is too lit to give an S. Billy tagged former Iconics partner Peyton Royce in her post as well. NXT superstar Tyler Breeze responded to the caption and told Billy Kay to keep it PG. Kay replied to Breeze and made it clear that she doesn't need to follow WWE's rules anymore. Billy Kay and Peyton Royce had a successful run as the Iconics on WWE NXT as well as on the main roster. The duo's biggest moment came on the grandest stage of them all when they won the women's tag team titles at WrestleMania 35 in 2019. The Iconics defeated Natalia and Beth Phoenix, Nia Jax and Tamina, and Bayley and Sasha Banks to win the belts. WWE split the Iconics last year shortly before the 2020 WWE Draft. Billy Kay held her own on SmackDown during her final months of the company. Her last appearance came at WrestleMania 37, where she teamed up with Carmella in a tag team turmoil match. WWE Hall of Famer reveals his conversation with Vince McMahon before leaving. Mark Henry has had an illustrious career in WWE and recently signed with AEW, which left the wrestling world in a state of shock. Since the beginning of his wrestling career, Mark Henry stayed with WWE prior to yesterday's announcement regarding him joining AEW. He and Vince McMahon have always had a good working relationship, and Mark Henry was even inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2018. On the latest episode of SiriusXM's Busted Open Radio, Mark Henry revealed a conversation he had with Vince McMahon and discussed what his current relationship was with the owner of WWE, saying, quote, Everybody knows me and Vince got love for each other, and more than love, respect. Me calling him and saying what needed to be said came from a place that was like a big brother telling his older brother. Man, I'm tired of being in the shadows. I feel like somebody beneath you is holding me back, and if somebody is holding me back, I gotta go. I feel like I'm being held back, and I'm not getting what I want, and I want to be successful. I want to be able to earn more and get those pelts on the wall. It was like the coolest thing. He was like, you know everything you need to know. If you feel like you need to go, I don't necessarily want it, but if you feel like you need to go, then go. I know you're going to be successful." End quote. Even though Mark Henry walked away from in-ring competitions a few years ago, the world's strongest man was still kept close to the business by being involved in a backstage role in WWE. Making sporadic appearances and cameos from time to time, Henry had fully embraced his role as an off-screen employee for WWE. His last wrestling match took place in Jeddah at the Greatest Royal Rumble, where he was a surprise entrant in the Battle Royale that headlined the show. He has also done some work as an analyst for WWE since his last venture inside the squared circle. However, Henry still did come on screen occasionally, with his most recent WWE on screen appearance being at Raw Legends Night in January, where he was threatened by Randy Orton. Thanks for watching today's Sports Kita Wrestling News Roundup. For more news stories and exclusive content, be sure to follow us on all social media. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Download the Sports Kita app for the most up-to-date stories in the world of wrestling.